Welcome to Shortview Trading. This is your morning market hit for Thursday, 7th of May. What matters today for traders? It's a Mexican standoff. That's what the market's behavior the last few weeks reminds us of. On the one hand, the bulls have struggled to get the market above the S&P's 61.8% retracement ratio. On the flip side, the bears have struggled to get it to break lower in a meaningful way. As a result, we've had sideways for three weeks and choppiness, an unusually extended period of sideways market movement. The Nasdaq is similar, albeit pushing towards higher retracement levels. But really, if you stand back from it, there's a good argument in our opinion that momentum is rolling. Indeed, look at our short-term technical scoring system. This has been rolling over from sell signals in recent days. Look at the average RSIs on 24 industry groups in the S&P 500. This is a model that gives you another sense of momentum. Once again, it's rolling. Indeed, look at the price action yesterday. It was very narrow. The only parts of the US market that really went up were tech or tech related. So the S&P top level sectors, it was IT and a bit of consumer discretionary, which of course is mainly an Amazon effect. Elsewhere, the Philly stocks did well, but all other sectors pretty much were down and some down quite meaningfully. So the advance has been narrow, the momentum is rolling, and there are certain prices which are really struggling in this market in recent weeks. Airlines in the US made a new low yesterday. The banks have struggled in terms of their price action. It's been poor. Elsewhere, 10-year bond yields, as we've been talking about, have been weak. And if you look at the transports relative to the S&P, a good indication of cyclical barometer of the economy, that's been very poor, making a new relative low at the moment. Added to which the financial stress hasn't really eased at all in the last few weeks. It eased dramatically in the initial rally, the initial relief rally, but it's really gone sideways for a few weeks. And indeed, you can see that in US high yield bond spreads. But equally, if you look at the Eurozone, some of those spreads are widening out to their widest levels. Italian spreads over Germany, for example, are quite close to the widest they've been in recent weeks. So the stress hasn't gone away, the momentum is rolling, and our models have been rolling over from sell signals in recent days. So we remain very much positioned for the short side of this market to do well. For full analysis of how we're approaching this market, please see today's daily rag available to subscribers and on the website. So what are we watching today? Well, the usual sort of things we've been articulating in recent weeks, added to which in terms of key macro challenger job cuts out of the States, I think will be interesting, as will the consumer credit out of the US as well later on this evening. In terms of key events, the Bank of England's Andrew Bailey, the new governor, is giving a press conference at 10 o'clock to discuss the decision that's been released this morning. Over and above that, Lagarde is speaking later on today, and there's one or two Fed speakers as well. And of course, there's a continuation of US first quarter earnings. So that's it from us at your morning market here for Thursday, May the 7th. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook. Simply search under Shortview Trading. Thank you for listening. Stay safe, trade well.